coming, and you're like, oops. Well, I don't think you did. I don't think yeah. you did know. I did. What it. was coming? Caught me off guard. Um, all right. Well, uh, welcome to the show. Uh, uh, Gene's mic should be fixed. Oh. So if you're watching this. Uh, yeah. And if not, I'll just do this. Mm, fi- no. Fix, mm-hmm. but fix, but not improved. Let's right. just say that. Yeah. Um, so uh, yeah, welcome to the show. This is the uh, the Midwest Sports Show. Mm. And then uh, my name is uh, Chris Dotson, Hello. and that's uh, Gene Steichen. Hey. Yes. Hey. Oh yeah, I was just thinking <laughs> the uh, the uh, Iowa State wrestling was this week. Oh, the high school. It was so cool. The a kid from Cascade. <laughs> okay, that's two. <laughs> that's two. A kid it's from Cascade <laughs> one. Okay. All right. Well, Cascade is right by Dubuque. Pl- so please keep in mind, Gene had a week. I, I know. <laughs> to come up with this uh, kid Iowa, from... I did watch Iowa. Iowa went undefeated in wrestling this year. They beat Okie State. So now, now, let's turn it up. Big 10 start. Yeah, the Cascade kid, he went up a kid, <laughs> Cascade another kid. guy that was undefeated in his high school career. And it was, like, uh, it was his last match, the undefeated kid, and he got beat by the... Guy by the Cascade kid? <laughs> yes. This is like this is like the one two three kid. You remember the one two three kid from uh, from wrestling? Yeah, from WWF. Right. I, I, it might have been I might have been after your time, Gene. Right. I don't. Uh, I I still watch. I still watch uh, WWE. On the, yeah. Well, WWF. I, I'll put it on in the background. <laughs> I don't like listen to it, but yeah. Uh, so what, what's your what's your what's your favorite suplex, Gene? <laughs> Man, I love. What Stone is a Cold. suplex? I don't suplex. Know. Is when you pick them up and throw them down, yeah. right? Isn't that well, a suplex? The one and you put them between your legs and you. Oh, there. Oh, that, that that's w- that's the Karma Sutra. Oh yeah, that's tough. I wouldn't want to get in that. Listen, <laughs> I've been I've been uh, thrown down a few times in my wrestling career, but not not like that. The Stone Cold Stunner. That's that's my move. I should right. use that in high school. Anyway, good job. Oh, Iowa set the all-time attendance record for wrestling. Pretty great, what right? Is that twenty? What what's what's the number? Twenty? Uh twenty people? No. Twenty they, people in one average about over thirteen thousand a meet. That's pretty impressive. Okay. All right, yeah. no, no, hey, listen, I, I Hey, I, I told you the NCAAs are gonna be at Viking Stadium and that's gonna be sold out. The finals and uh, probably at Bank Bank days. of America Stadium, right? Yep. It's gonna be three days. How so many how many dead birds, Gene? Oh my god. Seventy thousand people, how many dead birds? Please none. Please none. Uh, well, yeah. Gene, I, I hope the Hawkeye doesn't run into the uh, oh, glass. Iowa, we have a I. Oh yeah, that's right. It's a bird, but it's a fictional bird, so they know not to run into a glass window. Uh, I'm really excited because they Iowa hasn't won in ten years, so this is our year. I hope. All right, there you go. Well, I hope. I hope. Good luck. Good luck to Iowa. Good luck, Iowa. And uh, I want you to keep a personal diary, Gene, so mm. you can. Uh, I'm going to watch every sh- minute. I'll share your days. notes. Oh, it's it's uh, they share the stage with March Madness, but I'll be watching this unless Iowa is playing basketball. Well, I'll have one on. I have two TVs now, so yeah, I can watch them all. All right, there okay, you go. there. Mm-hmm. And it's and it's n- nice hair, but I feel bad for all the co- the people who are affected by c- coronavirus. Uh, yeah, I, I screwed that up. Yeah. <laughs> It seems like it would hit. Well, Gene, LA. when you're when you're making stuff off the top of your head, uh, uh, and, that, and that's not heartfelt messages. Oh my gosh, um, love the Goonies, my uh, cousin David. Yeah. Hey, I will say this. I did watch the Kobe tribute. Did you? Uh, I did not watch that. I watched it, but I did not have the sound on. Uh, but I was very tempted. Michael Jordan, he cried up a storm, and I was like, I should put the sound on. He's probably saying something I pretty I cool. Well, Gene, he had the under if uh, Michael Jordan was going to cry. He at cried the, uh, more than anyone I saw in that place, right? Yeah, I guess. Oh, I wonder if it was the only— uh, Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's my nephew's the phenom, the golfer, the golf phenom. He's 14. That means he's, yeah, one, he's, one, he's one year closer in turning pro. Happy birthday, Connor, out there. Yeah, happy yeah, birthday. He qualified for nationals. He's He's got a couple national tournaments this summer. So he'll be competing. That's terrific. Well, good luck. Stuff. Yeah. Awesome. Good luck. And, oh, NASCAR is in L.A. this week. Is it at the uh, Long Beach Speedway <laughs> oh. or something? No, out at uh, out, out, out east. Where's that track we have? Irwin, uh, where have Irwindale? Is that no. right? No. Yeah, uh, yeah out Irwindale. there by Ontario Airport. What's that? <laughs> 
Surf big uh, mass no surf idea. track. No I've idea. been there. I've been. I've been. But yeah, I'm not going there soon. <laughs> happy birthday. Sir. All right. Happy birthday. Anyways, happy birthday, Connor. Okay, there you go. All right. Um. All right. So we got all that. We're all yeah, done with that. Yeah. All right. Good. All right. Oh, I saw Simon and Garfunkel. Fantastic. The show. Were they it, both th- oh, the show, but not the actual? Well, uh, it artist, was on right? Broadway. It, it's a traveling musical. So good. I learned a lot about those two. Who, who you know, they uh, only had five albums? Hmm. Who uh, who played Paul Simon? Oh, this guy was fantastic. I don't know his name. Let me let me guess. Uh, Jewy looking guy, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Paul Simon. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. But Paul you know Simon. what? It's amazing because they kind of broke up, and Paul Simon went to England as a solo act, like 1964 and 65, touring. And while he was there, their song "Sounds of Silence" turned into a huge hit. And then they had to come back and record together, and then they became just. They hated it. Oh it's kind of like kind of like a roommate. Oh yeah, and how about this? Bridge over troubled water. The album was the number one album three straight years: seventy, seventy one, and seventy two. So, and they broke up when the Beatles broke up. So, are these guys getting paid for the show? Do they get a? Uh, mm. I mean, I guess for the music, right? It's their music. They have to pay music rights. Yeah. Right. So they get some of that, right? Man, I'll they tell you what. They get paid as actors. They're just actors. They're, they're, you're whatever. I know, but they're not, so Simon and Garfunkel are not in the play, right? No, it's yeah. about that. It's just their, it's their story. Yeah, I know, right? So they get money from that, right? They get a, oh, yeah. They get a slice they of every to, ticket. They had to approve it, I'm sure. Wouldn't they have? I, I mean, they're using so. their music, right? Don't you think yeah, they get approval they, they for they their music? It's kind of hard. But they couldn't use, they didn't have any of their images. So, I don't know. So they couldn't show like a album? No, they never. They didn't show their s- actual faces, but you they mean they act? The actors show their faces. Yeah, though, right? they're yes. on stage. <laughs> they're they're doing a concert, but all then right, they so have th- a screen behind them, and they're showing all the pictures, but they don't have any of Simon. And this Garfunkel. isn't this isn't like a Greek theater where they're <laughs> wearing masks, right? <laughs> hey, Jesus. Was, hey, listen, it was at the Pantages, three thousand seats. So, yeah, all right, very good. Okay, anyway, what happened all to right. the Brewers? All right, well, uh, Gene, we uh, we. we the menu looks kind of short, yeah, this week. But uh, we just have so many stories. Oh, I see. That That's uh, how I didn't feel like uh, writing right. them all right. out and all then right. finding Thank pictures. You. So uh, we got some. Uh, hey, uh, can I baseball give a news? Cub story is that part of and it? And then we got a, Well, we're going to talk about baseball. Uh, we got some Cub stuff coming up. Oh, okay, you go so ahead. So if you can then. hold it until uh, then, I'll, I'm holding. Um, and then we got a bunch of uh, NFL potpourri. Okay, I got you. Go ahead. Then. It's not potpourri. I know. Can I, can I get potpourri for 200, Alex? Hey, nothing wrong with pot anymore. No one I've, said that. I've completely embraced their culture. I've never had it. Uh, but I go ahead. Do what you want. All right. Well, Gene, uh, yeah. f- we uh, learned some info from the uh, Milwaukee Brewers finances. Oh, really? Uh, the I guess the city, or maybe it was probably the Brewers themselves, did a uh, study. Because it's mm. the 20th anniversary of uh, Miller Park. Oh, is it? So it's did 20 it, years already. Yeah, so it's, uh, well, maybe it'll be 21 next year because it's 2001, I believe. How long has it been since that guy passed away? <laughs> oh, that was 22 about a years. Year. Yeah, yeah. You know, I, uh, I, I, I sort of knew that guy's son. Really? Like uh, in the college years because wow. uh, I used to kind of run with some of the people I mm. would uh, hang out with. So uh, well, he, w- he was rich, basically. They got a bunch of money from, oh, the, uh, from the guy's most, death. Most great buildings uh, include deaths. Don't they to build them? Well, you know, you can't make an omelet without breaking some eggs. Yeah, right? I know the Hoover Dam has claimed many victims uh, when they're building it. I believe. Yep. Yeah. Um. Uh, anyways, uh, so, l- some t- so t- some tidbits. Here's some interesting okay. uh, right. knowledge I, for yeah. you. I Miller Park know. cost three ninety two, three hundred ninety two million to construct from nineteen ninety nine to two thousand one. Three hundred and ninety two uh. million. That's not that much. No, Pretty now good. now ye, it's hard to do it. I mean, the Cubs are doing reconstruction, and it's over a billion on Wrigley. Just, over just <laughs> like, just like they, they, they're just adding new paint. Yeah, and yeah, drywall paint and and uh, carpet. <coughs> uh oh, we lost our sidekick over there, and then. Oh, and then um, oh. We got that take care. Of. They they uh, fixed up uh, the bathroom. So my uh, just to uh, my landlord just uh, interrupted the show and uh, letting me know my rent went up uh, for April. Oh, it, I it goes been like, up. Yo, hey, yeah. we're recording. Mine too. Mine we're too. recording. It goes up every April. That's uh, rent control, right? Jesus. 
Three percent. All right. Yeah, so that's what uh, they do. yeah. So what they're adding carpet, drywall. Oh, no carpet. No, they did. They Some did paint? the bathrooms. Oh, they did the Cubs uh, locker room. But they didn't do the opposing locker room, and they're they're gonna now do the press box, but it's over a billion dollars. And that's just renovate. You guys built a whole stadium for three hundred. Well, Gene, I mean, Jesus million. Christ, uh, where, where do you think all that toll money is going? You know. Oh my gosh, Illinois is so corrupt. Uh, and then there, and then their crooked governor who's been in prison, federal. Well, he, hey, he just got pardoned, huh? Yeah, coming back, Rod. He, Rod. Uh, he, Rob Blagojevich, Blo- Blagovich, right? Yeah. Blagovich. But Blagojevich. Blo- he, he's a big Cubs fan too. <laughs> but uh, yeah, he's been well, locked hey, up for about. Well, hey, isn't the uh, one of the owners of the Cubs good friends with Trump? So uh, I can be the uh, guest of honor. Yeah, yeah. At uh, Wrigley Field. Yeah, the Ricketts family, I think. Wow, well, whatever. Not to get too political. Yeah. Anyway. All right, anyway, so back okay, to the Brewers. So, yeah, the Brewers. Uh, so 392 million. Largely the publicly funded, including the, implementation, oh, I didn't know that. including the implementation of the stadium tax. Oh. Since it opened, taxpayers have contributed about $600 million to the construction, maintenance, and renovations of the ballpark. Wow. Which is owned by the South uh, East Wisconsin Professional Baseball Park District. See, I thought the Brewers owned Miller oh, Park. Oh, they don't so. own uh, it. No, I guess not. Well, it's kind of like the Bears, Chicago Bears. They don't own their stadium. It's owned by the Park District. Yeah. Which is kind of sucky. Well, I mean, obviously, this is an organization. This is not the Park and Rec. Right, you know? right. Like, uh, like Soldier Bears. Field. But 600. Okay, so the stadium cost 392. Right. And now they paid 600. And I don't know if that includes, that 600 million includes that 392. That's probably the, it says, all the stuff they had to pay well, back. Well, it says construction, maintenance, and renovation. So I'm guessing that includes the construction. Mm. Uh, but six. I mean, why don't you just build a new park? I know. I know. Fuck. That's what, same thing with the Marlins did. They they fleece the taxpayers, and you end up paying like triple what it costs. That's why uh, you got to just build it yourself. Uh, but, Gene, it's not uh, all uh, I don't know, onions. In that right. same time, the Brewers have invested about $107 million to maintain and enhance the stadium, according to the report. Oh, so there okay. you go. So they're pitching in some. Hmm. So how does that work? If you don't own the stadium and then you pay for renovations, do yeah. you – I mean, you know, with these you studies and all that, there's all the stuff that's not being said, right? They, they yeah. put in $107 million, Do they cash that out for taxes? I don't know. And it's better to own your own stadium than when you sell the team. You're worth more. Yeah. The Brewers have also paid nineteen point eight million in rent to the district since two thousand one. Oh, they had to pay rent. Yeah, but Gene, yeah. nineteen million in rent for twenty years at, for a fucking baseball stadium. Yeah, that's uh, that's pretty good. Yeah, that's good. That's that's rent control. That is yeah, that end. that that is very rent control. Yeah, that is uh, absolutely uh, not going up. Wow. Yeah. Hopefully, I'll be at. Isn't the- ironic? We're talking about the Miller Brewers rent and i just got a rent increase <laughs> yeah i should just say uh yo hey uh mr kim right the owner of the building i mean look uh, i ain't the milwaukee brewers yeah that's right i should if calculate the percent that know, 19 everybody is everybody gets if you if your apartment's rent control you get your notice for april it goes up my rent went up uh 41 dollars that's, that, that's what it goes up everywhere yep Every rent. Well, and then if you're not rent control, uh, you may have to move out. Yeah, that's the problem. If you're not rent control, they can kick you out at any time, can't they? I mean, I guess, right? Once you're month to month. Yeah. So, So like, or they can, or they can just raise it to price you out. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. All right. Uh, and then we, all right, some other statistics, Gene. Uh, Mm -hmm. the the 2.5 billion in net total income output refers to the total direct, indirect, or induced spending effects generated. The bre- so basically they're saying that uh, the, the, the Miller Park and the Brewers have added $2.5 billion to the uh, economy. Oh, okay. That are otherwise not being realized. The yeah. figures are higher in Milwaukee County, $3.3 billion in net total output, and the city of Milwaukee, 3.2 because of the methodology of the study. For example, a fan visiting Miller Park from Eau Claire, Wisconsin, would have produced net. So anyways, the whole point is right. uh, people lose money if you're not in Milwaukee County. Hmm. So the rest of Milwaukee got fucked, but uh, yeah, Milwaukee. That's what happens when taxpayers end money. up, uh, they, they, they stick it to them. Yeah. Yeah, but, but I mean, but listen, if you're on Eau Claire and the Milwaukee Brewers and uh, Christian Yelich is your MVP, I think you're good. I think yeah. you're good with that. Yeah. Right? And it brings a lot of money. Trust me, I've been to Eau Claire. They got yeah. nothing else. Oh, my God. <laughs> Eau Claire. Did, is it University of Wisconsin? I've yeah. been to Eau Claire, too. Yeah. I don't, I don't that's know. also by uh, Stout Menominee's nearby. Yeah. 
All right, and then uh, we're going to keep on going a little bit. A question many of you wanted posed directly to Brewers principal owner uh, Mark Anastasio Ooh. in light of pair, play, pay, player payroll because uh, the Brewers have shed a lot of payroll. A lot of teams. This year. So they're way under the luxury tax. Did huh? the team operate at a loss last season? I will say no. Uh, he says yes. Wow. They did. They do funny uh, over there. Well, uh, you know, Mark, you got three million people coming to the stadium. Uh, maybe raise beer prices if you can't make money. They're they're, they're so they're, they're no. That, that's they're, definitely a tricky number there. They're, that they're they're, they're not they're, including like yeah, TV revenue and stuff like that. They're they're nobody operates at a loss. Yeah, except why why own a baseball team? I don't think I I I bet n- not even the pirate because the pirates and Marlins they're making more money. Because they're getting all the the baseball money, and then they don't spend it on payroll, so they're, uh, yeah, no, they're, um, give no me a, give me hey, money. give me a break. No one's losing. By money. the way, you're a billionaire. I'm, I'm a, okay. And by the way, if they lost money, it was like ten bucks. Yeah. Okay. And that, okay. All right. Hmm. Brewers. Well. <laughs> hey, Mark. Uh, if this was one of your properties, uh, you would have been fired by now, huh? Yeah, I, I doubt I doubt Mark Anastasio is losing money. Right, right. He's yeah. uh, th- he got rich for a reason. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, and then Gene, this is uh, not kind of really related to the uh, Midwest, but yeah. this is a bane of the Midwest. Some I guy who was that. really messed up. Uh, the I, NLC Central. Baumgartner, before. I didn't even. I heard today it was on Arizona. I didn't even know that's where yeah, it went. Gene, I was googling pictures of Bumgarner and I saw him wearing an Arizona jersey. Like, what? What's going on here? Why do I, you let him? You know, go? Do they? Tr- they didn't trade him, right? He was a free agent. He was a free agent, right? And then the the Diamondbacks are like, hey, we uh, we got rid of Zank, uh, Zach Granke. Zanky. Yeah. Just call him Zanky. It'll be a little quicker. Right, right. We got rid of uh, Zan Granke, but uh, let's uh, overpay old uh, Ace. Yeah, he's old. He's old. He's not. He's young in real year, but baseball year, his body's been through a lot. Well, Gene, uh, more than most people know, because not only did we just find out he went to the Diamondbacks, he has secretly been competing in rodeos <laughs> I heard for that. years. I can't believe that. Under an extra alias, extra bags. And uh, a report says and it's an open secret in baseball, and he ropes right hand. The lefty ropes right handed, Gene. Wow. Old lefty, old righty. Wow. Remember, like a couple years ago, where he like he broke his ribs yeah. on an ATV. Was this? Uh, I, did he get run over by a bull? Absolutely. Or what? Right. Doesn't that make more sense? Yeah, I'd say so. Yeah. That it was a bull. Something happened with a bull. I don't know. How does that? I think Arizona. Wouldn't they want to step in on this one? Yeah, like uh, why are you doing this? Yeah, for for, uh, for a blue ribbon. Yeah, dude. You're, you're getting paid twenty million dollars a season. That's a tough sport. Have you ever competed in radio? <laughs> I don't think I'd get on it. Gene, you know, I've never even. Uh, <laughs> At the saddle ranch. Been on a horse before. Yeah, yeah, I was been on a horse once, and it. It, it yeah it went okay. I mean, I but I well, yeah, you're still here. You're still talking about it. Yeah, I had to. Well, I, I we didn't gallop off into the sunset. We just stood in front of the camera, and she kind of kept the horse calm. Took a bunch of shits. Yeah, behind you. Um, Madison Bumgarner, uh, participating in the rodeo. How about you, Darvish, Gene? <laughs> what you, is he doing? Oh, he's you, Darvish is totally focused. We need you right this year. The Cubs' chance is relies on you to be great. And now his mentals, he, he's back because uh, he's not, he doesn't question himself anymore. He knows he was cheated by the Astros. Yeah. There wasn't anything he did. <laughs> yeah, the Astros in the American League. Oh, right. yeah. yeah, yeah you, well, he played for the Angels, right? No, Dodgers. Oh, but okay. remember, he got, he got torched in the World Series. Oh, okay. And that, that, that hurt oh, him. Oh, yeah, I league. guess. Yeah, I guess. Yep. Uh, Cubs still gave him uh twenty eight million dollars a year. Yeah. yeah, something like that. One hundred forty million for six years, but this is his third year. This is going to be the year he yeah. puts it all together. Uh, how about John Lester, Gene? John Lester going oh to any God. rodeos? Oh, he's awesome. He can after this year. This is last year under contract. Rodeo away there, John. Well, Gene, let me ask you this: If he's in the rodeo, does he have trouble throwing the rope, the lasso, sixty feet? <laughs> I'd He's only good for the long ones. Yeah, 
great point. Yeah, he can't throw he can, he can't throw it to the clown. <laughs> oh, I see. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. All right, Gene, did you have any other Cubs news? Did you? Uh, was it this oh yeah, renovation? David Ross, our new manager, missed the first three spring training games. He hasn't even managed yet because he's been out with the flu. Was he getting a massage or no, what? No, he got the flu in Arizona. <laughs> wow. Uh, and Chris nice. Bryant's our new leadoff guy. And uh, so I guess yeah, well, Gene, you want your best player to be leadoff hitter. So I don't know. The Cubs are desperate. For the, the whatever the, whatever happened to put Contreras in the uh, yeah, leadoff? I yeah. thought that was the magic trick. I don't know. Chris Bryant gets on base, but he he does he didn't want it. Well, hopefully he'll embrace it and it'll go well. How about Rizzo? Where is Rizzo going to be? Rizzo, be he batted lead off a bunch, but he's more of a yeah. he's not very fast. You don't no. want him stealing bases. Yeah. Hey, yeah. hey, he ain't exactly Ricky Henderson. There you go. Right. All right. All right, so we got a bunch of NFL news, Gene. Mm. So uh, this is pr- this is pretty good. This is pretty okay. Good. Okay, a bunch of funny stories. Yeah. All right, Will Cotts, uh, who is a uh, player, uh, I guess for uh, Cincinnati. Uh, he was asked, "Should Joe Burrow, the n- expected oh. number one draft pick, should he be warned about the situation in Cincinnati?" Absolutely, absolutely. Will Cotts said. Will Cotts said, "I was 100 percent behind Carson, Carson Palmer." And I watched as it sucked the life out of him. This is different. I know they're only. I watched fans in Cincinnati dump garbage on his home on his lawn. Jesus. Oh. I <laughs> Carson Palmer brought the Bengals to the playoffs after yeah. like thirty yeah. years of uh, right, right terribleness. I I would think from wh- that going to the Bengals is about as depressing as it gets in the NFL. But man, he can be a hero there. I don't know. It's it's tough. They, he's got no well. Well, let me tell you something, Joe. Okay, this is good. A message from uh, you to him. You ain't in Tuscaloosa anymore, <laughs> buddy. <laughs> uh, Baton Rouge. Isn't that where Tuscaloosa? Isn't that where uh, LSU is at? Tuscaloosa? Uh, no, that's Alabama, yeah, right? They're in Baton oh. Rouge. You that's wa- good effort. What's uh what's another funny uh city in uh, Louisiana? Baton Rouge. No, like a funny naming city. Uh Shreveport? Yeah. You ain't in Shreveport, <laughs> Joe. <laughs> oh, this man. ain't Shreveport, this is Cincinnati. Yeah. He's actually I think he's well, he played at Ohio State for three years. Well he didn't really play, that was the problem. But he he spent a lot of time in Ohio. Ah Did he? Look. Yeah, I mean, he was at Ohio State three years before he transferred. Jeez. But he didn't is, get on the field. Isn't college kind of ridiculous when you tran- you play for three years, you transfer, and then you still uh, – you, and you have to sit out like a year, right, when you yeah, transfer? Yeah, maybe he was a – yeah. Jesus unless Christ. Unless he was a college graduate. He might have – maybe he got his undergrad. Was he a graduate degree. student? Like Russell Wilson, he didn't have to sit out because he had graduated. All right, Redskins, uh, we got some more news here. Okay. Redskins exercise option for Adrian Peterson. So That's they picked amazing. him up for another year. Um, this is kind of interesting, Gene. A statistic in the year 2019, Adrian Peterson had more 20 yard runs than such, b- he had six, such big names as Todd, Todd Gurley, mm. Aaron Jones, Packer Aaron Jones, Alvin Kamara, Ezekiel Elliott, and he was tied. Uh, for 12 with uh, Christian McCaffrey. Wow, that is surprising. Hmm. So there you go, Gene. Uh, Adrian Peterson, Christian McCaffrey, the exact same player. Right, right. I thought you could say 12. Yeah, that's you're right. getting a bargain. Isn't 12 the amount of uh, kids he has? Well, let me ask you 12? this, Gene. Uh, are we sure we know who Christian McCarthy's dad is? Oh. Can we get a uh, you go. DNA test? It was at um, Ed McCaffrey. Yeah, uh, that's the joke. Yeah, he's t- <laughs> his dad's a famous football player. That's I know, and his brother's um, I'm good too. No, I knew that. I knew that. All right. Yeah. Uh, wow. well, we, Jim, we got a lot of millennials watching, so oh, they they oh. don't know who Ed McCaffrey oh, is. I see. He used to play for Denver. Yep. One, white, two Super Bowls. White, white, white yeah, white, <laughs> white guy. Um. And uh, again, Gene, uh, AP, AP, Adrian Peterson, Gene, he's been in the uh, league a long time. Wow. Long yeah. time. He better, whatever money they're paying him, set it aside. Just is, set it aside is, and line up that child support because he's, he's got him coming after him. Well, Gene, let me ask you this. Why? Is he, uh, is he trying to, uh, you know, 
duplicate? You know, is he trying to copy LeBron? Mm. And he wants to play with one of his eight kids? Wow. Or eight yeah, sons? Gotta, yeah, you got a bunch of them. Oh, he's they might have a whole new team. Yeah. The uh, Las Vegas Raiders, everyone named is uh, Adrian Peterson. Wow. Peterson. He, uh, you know, I guarantee you, like, f- four of his kids are, like, named Adrian. Right, right. Something like that. Yeah. Like the fifth, you know, like George didn't, Foreman. Didn't the one, he didn't even know he had him until he was uh, older. Wait, didn't he? The one kid? Well, didn't he? I, I didn't, didn't one kid get killed by oh, someone yeah. else? And, and then, then he, he didn't, didn't know that was his he kid? He didn't even know it was his kid. Something weird like that. Uh, yeah. it's, it's just not, not, right. a good, not a good spot. Yeah. All right. Uh, the guy just likes uh, ejaculating oh, inside uh, oh, women. Oh, that's. A bit graphic. All right. Uh, Alex Van Pelt wants Baker's Mayfield to become more like Mozart Who? and not like Metallica. I, oh. I, I guess Alex Van Pelt is like the uh, QB coach, oh, maybe okay. the uh, offensive coordinator for the Browns. Mm. He wants his uh, feet to be more like Mozart and not like Metallica. Mm. Uh, well, let me ask you this, Gene. Yes. What was Mozart's QB rating? <laughs> QBR rating. Yeah, score. No, the Browns. This is a big year for old Baker. Uh, I don't know. Gene Mozart. Yeah. How about Handel? Right. Huh? I got to. How about Buck? Yeah. Hey, Baker got some All unwanted right. press What's too, <laughs> but from that from that woman right in the parking lot said she blew it. Did she? She said she gave uh, Baker Mayfield a uh, blowjob, and I did not hear this. Oh yeah, big story. <laughs> After he was, he hit her up on Instagram, and they. Oh, she's back. like an Instagram model. And she, he was only married for eight months. He's still ba- married. Baker Mayfield. Yeah, he's not married, is he? Yeah, he's been married now. I think a, less than a year. Holy oh, yeah. shit! And so, so that happened, and then wow, this, he was married. Wow, he was eight months. And this, and this lady is uh, just flapping oh, her went, gums. Oh, she's flapping, flapping away. This week she went flat. Well, gee, Gene, uh, what a shock! You can't trust a uh, Instagram whore. Yeah, to and, keep her and, mouth shut. And she said uh, he made her keep her phone, like uh, in the somewhere. dashboard or whatever. Yeah, so but he he had, she had something sneaky. She was ready for him. She was Jesus. ready. So now I, she probably tried to hit him up for money, and then uh, he said no, and then she went public. So Jesus. Yeah. So Baker. what are they? Are they getting divorced or something or what? No, his wife. I don't know. They they just got married though. Him and his wife. Isn't that the point? You're supposed to get like a super hot wife that like he does. puts out he all has the time. A beautiful wife. Yeah. She, man, maybe she's. I don't know. Baker's got problems. Maybe he's got uh, issues. NFL play. Uh, hey, pff, have you seen those uh, progressive commercials? Yes. Enough. All right. They, we, I got some issues with those. He should lose all of them. To. Uh, well, I don't understand these insurance commercials. What what is their point about making the the athletes uh, looking like idiots? I mean, yeah. you got re- uh, all all state or whatever. Far- what what's He's the with one with progressive? What's one? What's with uh, Aaron Rodgers? All state. Is it all state? Is he? Those are the worst campaign, worst commercial campaign. Yeah. Since commercial campaign. Right. All right. Uh, so, Gene, there's a, uh, a collective bargaining agreement. Oh my gosh! I floating around there. Feelings. I guess the players aren't quite. I I guess they negotiated for a long time, right? But now they're having. They're they're not quite ready. Well, it doesn't look like they're going to sign it. Yeah. Uh, but one thing is, uh, the NFL playoff structure is about to be changed. Yeah. Under the current CBA proposal, seven teams from each conference will make the playoffs with only one buy per conference. Sources tell ESPN. That's okay. It would go in effect this upcoming season. And uh, some other things is that, uh, well, Gene, I mean, you know, mm. you let more teams in, Gene. Uh, right. Th- the Bears will not have gotten to the playoffs oh still. Oh, my gosh. Okay. I think they oh they would have missed this year. The Rams would have got in. Yep. Yeah. Under that system, the Rams would have got in. Yeah. Um, they're also talking about 17 games, mm. uh, adding another game, three p- preseason games. I Cut it to two. However, yeah, they're talking about that 17th game because, uh, you know, these contracts are right, obviously right. Uh, structured around 16 games. They're talking about there's a cap to how much you can make on that yeah. 17th game at basically a quarter of $250,000, quarter of a million dollars. Right. And some of these guys got contracts where they're making well over that. Yes. Yeah. I, I can't believe how the owners would 
feel about that. I mean, that, or not not feel about that, but thought that was gonna fly. I I don't know how even that got that far. So you're gonna you're gonna ask these guys to play another game, but then right. pay them two hundred fifty thousand yeah, dollars for it? Not great. Yeah, let's hammer this out. Play. I know the owners probably got more. Well, they what's the whole point of having another game? Is that the players would get another paycheck? Yeah, I mean, come on, let's take and take care of the old guys too that are all banged up. They're really <laughs> pretty hard. There's a lot of oh, stuff. Oh, yeah, I'm sure they're going to do that. No, they're not. Oh. Yeah. Do you know they only get insurance for five? If You have to be in the league, I think, six years uh, to get your pension. I'm not sure. It's something like that. But then you only get insurance for five years after, and then, then you're on your own. These guys are hurting for <laughs> a long time. Yeah, Gene, it's for our entertainment. Just remember that. Mm. It's for our entertainment. Okay. Well, then it makes it all better. All right. Just don't even don't even think about that. Just think about the touchdowns. Just yeah. think about those okay. Hail Marys and the uh, the cheerleaders yeah. and the confetti. And there you go. The Joe Super Tom, Tom, and Tom Brady Spanish. holding a Super Bowl trophy right. while the rest of the guys are making, uh, you know, okay. league minimum. Yeah, I take it all back. I Players, you're being selfish. Get yeah. out there. All right, let's, let's, let's play a ball. Let's play let's ball. Let's go, players. Huh? Yeah. They're I not going to sit out. They, the players. Uh, uh, they're, yeah, they'll go without a conjure. Then we'll see a lockout, I bet. Uh, yeah, I don't know what's going to happen. But there's a lot of, you know, Gene, here's our business talk. Oh, okay. Some business so, talk here. Yeah. The owners are trying to get this done so that they can negotiate yeah, TV right. rights. Yeah, yeah. And, and the players they, obviously and, know that. Yeah. They'll, they'll be like, the players will agree to it. The owners will get a new TV deal with so much more money, and then the players will be screwed again for 10 more years. Yep. They should have an opt-out, right, or something? Opt-out opt out of the uh, CBA? Well, collective or, bargaining or, or, or have it worded so it goes up. I don't know. I'm not, I, I'm not a negotiator. These are super, super complicated I know, contracts. but you know, you're right, because as soon as they, they get the players on board, then they're going to go to the networks, and they're going to get a bunch more money, and then the players are going to be, yeah. Well, this is it, yeah. I, I feel hopefully the players are going to be smart yeah, and hold yeah, on. So. Yeah. Mm. All right, and then uh, this is some more Browns news. Oh, okay. Sorry I didn't group this together, but uh, Browns offensive tackle. Oh, the guy. Uh, Greg Robinson. Wasn't he a former Bear? He could have been. A lot, a lot of Robinsons were Bears. He's still playing. Wasn't he playing last year? I think he played like a couple games, but was alleged to have 157 pounds mm. of marijuana in several large duffel bags in the rear cargo area, area wow. in El Paso, Texas. Ooh, right on the border. Hmm, very suspicious. Yeah, not, uh, you want to get caught in Texas with uh, 157 the pounds. I was at the border. It's pretty, uh, well, when I, I don't drove, when I, not, when I drove into El Paso uh, from, not Mexico, New Mexico, they had dog sniffing, drug sniffing dogs. That's how it's just saying. Yeah. yeah. Well, I don't think they were crossing the border. Maybe they're just in no, El Paso. No, yeah, but they still, Neither. when you're in El Paso, when you go, yeah. yeah, when you enter El Paso, they check you out. Gene, uh, 157 pounds. Yes. Amateurs. Oh. Amateurs. Yeah. Gene, uh, oh, um, Gene they're on their way to my place to pick up more weed, okay? Wow. And for guys making so much money, and I guess the street value was hundreds of Well, Gene, these guys come up with a bunch of money, and they're like, how am I going to invest this? Oh, I see. Fuck, fuck that, uh, you know, those blue chip stocks. Right, right. I, I, I'm going to double my money. Yeah. And I'm just going to flip a bunch, 157 pounds of weed. Yeah. Pretty yeah. easy. That's... Yeah. That's their invest. I mean, it is a good investment, but then yeah. of course you're gonna get caught. Yeah. All right, and then uh, here we go, Gene. Yeah. Casey Erlacher. Oh, Brian's brother, the, the mayor, brother, and he's a mayor. The brother of Chicago Chicago Bears legend, among ten he, people charged with running an illegal offshore sports gambling ring. Oh my gosh. Also charged are Chicago cop and guys with the nicknames like Uncle Mick and Sweaters. Mm. Story to come. Well, and he's mayor of a Chicago suburb, so uh, he fits right in with their corruption. But wow, woof. Gene, uh, no word if uh, Brian Erlacher. Bur- sorry, no word yet if Brian Erlacher's hair is involved. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No word yet. We don't know if that's illegal. No. Yeah. Gene, do you? Uh, I-, I saw this like last week. Right. I mean, do you know? Uh, have there been any updates? Uh, Is anyone talking about this in uh, Chicago yeah, sports absolutely. radio? Uh, yeah, because he's a mayor, and, and it also shows you, I don't know, it's probably a federal thing, 
but uh, they also that Illinois approved sports gambling a year ago, and they still haven't <laughs> figured out how to. G- what is wrong with the state? I not this is that's separate from yeah. So it's really the state's done. fault. Like if you guys would well, have just uh, made the yeah. regulations way easier, we wouldn't have had an Why, offshore company. What the hell is Illinois doing? Mm, <laughs> but no, this is a bad uh, Casey or Not good. Not good. Not, not good. at all. Yeah. Uh, the future of Raiders quarterback Derek Carr has been the subject of much speculation this off season, and Carr himself is fueling some of that speculation. Carr posted on um, Instagram a picture of himself and former teammate Khalil Mack, now with the Bears. Several media outlets took it as a hint that Carr was hinting at a union w- in Chicago. Um, Gene, what was uh, I to replace Mitch Trubisky? Yeah, what was I, the reaction in I uh, think Chicago? It, it would definitely be well, for sure, it'd be an upgrade. Yeah, I mean, you guys would be like, yeah, Derek Carr sucks. But you definitely would want him starting game one, yeah. week one, right? But I ain't a Pam. I don't know. It's too complicated. He can't get along. Gruden's tough to play for. But he, I think he would definitely be a big upgrade. I, Trubisky sucks. Ooh. No. Isn't he? Yeah, doesn't Derek Carr kind of suck, though, too? Yeah, he does. So you're going to pay both of them? I don't oh. know. Well, I mean, Derek Carr is up and down. He had a good. He was good before Gruden got there. Didn't he have a good year? Yeah, like his know. rookie or second year. I think yeah. his rookie year, he had a good year. Yeah. Um, Carr's brother, David Carr, uh, should be read should not read nothing into whatever. Blah blah. blah. So basically, he's saying his favorite movie is Trolls. He's just having fun. It's the off season. Hmm. So, uh, sorry, sorry, Chicago. Wow. Yeah. They got to do something, though. I, they haven't, I don't know what they're going to do. They've cut a couple other guys. They haven't figured out anything yet. Mm. Slashing Maybe. payroll. Yeah. Yeah. They got to get All out right. of the cap so they can get someone better than their sucky quarterback. Well, uh, Gene, uh, yeah. there was some excitement in Green Bay earlier this week. Oh, uh, what happened in Green when Bay? When news started uh, zigzagging over the airwaves at the uh, Green Bay air area, will host a 2022 NFL draft. Oh, they want to host the draft. Right. Good news for Appleton and uh, well, Oshkosh. Better, they have a hotel room. You better start building some a bunch of Motel 6s. I know. I know. That motel, there's a Motel 6 by Green Bay where I've stayed a bunch of times. And, man, I think they charge almost $200, well, and it's a crappy well, would, would it kill them to upgrade? I know. They have a pool with, uh, who knows? Deer carcasses in there, it is a mess. What? Oh, Green Bay. I although anyways. I think it'd be really cool for him to have the draft though. Anyways, uh, when is the draft? Anyways, it's like in April. Uh, it's April. Okay, it probably will will be snowing. Yeah, that's a then. problem. Um, but anyways, Gene, apparently this was fake news. This yeah, was a rumor that was not true. It, though. Sure, they always wanted it. Sure. All right, and then uh, talking about other NFL things that are uh, talking about being moved around. Jim Erzray on keeping the uh, combine in Indy. Of course, the uh, NFL combine where they bring in all the you know upcoming rookies. It's this week and do the horse show. Basically, make them yeah. uh, you know. It's this week. Song and dance pony oh, show. Oh, it started today. That's why. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, it started. Anyways, uh, people have been talking about moving it. Mm. Uh, Jim Erzray is not a fan. Not Double. a fan. Owner of the yeah, Colts. Not a fan. Tradition said tradition should uh, be right. should stay tradition. in place. Stay there. Don't mess with tradition. Well, Gene, he obviously doesn't have a hookup anywhere else. That's that's the problem. Oh he, his, his his guys in uh, Indianapolis. He he has abused many many prescription drugs. It's an epidemic. It affects young people and it can affect old. I was gonna say people fuckers. of all kind. Yeah, like uh, people yeah. of all kind. Yeah. All right. Well, there we go, Gene. Well, that the is the uh, this week. So hopefully they'll. Any Iowa guys going to be at the Combine? Yes. Well, Iowa is projected to have two first-rounders. They will have two first-rounders. Uh, offensive tackle and their defensive end. Fantastic. Right. No, uh, yeah. no tight ends? Uh, no. We had two last year in the first round. Can you believe that? Uh, no tight ends this year. But, uh, yeah, two two guys and then our quarterback. Nate Stanley uh, projected probably maybe fourth, fifth-rounder. Mm, we'll see. Yeah. All right, pretty exciting. We'll yeah, uh, exciting. watch all that. Yeah, in baseball, you know, it starts in March. Oof. Crazy. We got a 
about a month left. We got spring training. Yeah. People are playing spring training games. Oh, and the Cubs uh, launched their new network, Marquee Network, and they still haven't come to a deal with uh, with Comcast or Chicago Cubs. Uh, yeah, Marquee Network. That's their network. And they still haven't come to terms with uh, with uh, if so if you have cable you can't watch Cubs right now. <laughs> uh, so it, and then they go oh we'll work it out. Yeah, L. A. Uh, hasn't worked it out. And how, how many years has it been? It's probably the seventy five percent. Isn't that what it is? Probably the third year. Yeah. Oh, it's more than that. What was the uh, announcer for the Dodgers forever? Who was that guy? Oh, Vince Scully. Yeah, Vince Scully. If Vince Scully can't even uh, get That's them to right. come to terms, yep. then yep. nothing will. Nope. Hey, hey, Eric Harry's been dead for 30 years, yeah. Gene. Just watch. Well, not quite. When did he die? Well, was, maybe. He died in the 90s, right? Yeah, 90s. But uh, watch out, Cubs. Yeah. yeah. So hopefully that <laughs> works out. Oh, I hope so. All right. Okay. We can get Bulls on the clown on the phone, okay? All right. No more WGN. Goodbye, WGN. All right, well, Gene, I think that will be the uh, the end of the show. I think we've run out of uh, news yeah. stories to talk about. I mean, it's not like anything's happening in basketball. It's not like uh, the, the hey, Bucks are the Bucks uh, running are wild. Forty-eight and eight, or I don't know what the record. I think I it's think forty-eight it's, and nine. Oh, I believe. maybe they lost the game. I hope they keep it going. Wow. All right. Oof. As do I. As do I. Because you got you got to Bucks got to win because if Giannis, oh please, yeah, but he might if he leaves, oh, it's all over. So yep. All righty. Well, uh, I think we'll uh, we'll talk about the bucks and <laughs>